Hey guys, Guitar Shop TV coming to you from the LA Guitar Show, and we are thrilled to be here with Eric and Rick from Lazy Angel Guitars in Los Angeles, and these guys have some of the most iconic, coolest vintage guitars I've ever seen. Uh, and we're thrilled today, they're gonna welcome to the show, guys. Uh, maybe we could start with this, this bad boy here. And I, I gotta tell you, from a personal note, this Zimgar, 62 about, 1962, was my first electric guitar. When I was a kid, you know, I begged my parents to get me an electric guitar, and this was the first, with the four pickups and the rocker switches. And maybe maybe Rich could, or Eric, you could take us through this. Yeah, uh, these are more Rick's style, but uh, <laughs> it is the Hound Dog Taylor, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, the Hound Dog Taylor, famous Hound Dog Taylor with six fingers instead of five. Uh, played one of these. Never have figured out what he did with the six finger because uh, his well, style of switches. playing you know, <laughs> with all those switches, maybe that's what he did with the six fingers since there's six <laughs> switches. But, um, but a very iconic guitar. Trust me, most of the ones you'll see don't have the original finish anymore. They either have stickers all over them or somebody tried to paint it with nail polish. <laughs> My God, that is unbelievable. This one is also incredible. This one rare. is a favorite of mine. That's now, Tell us about this, Eric. Well, it's a, uh, a carbon <clears throat> from 1959, but I found it on the internet, and uh, it, there was no finish on it because these were sold originally. They'd sell them complete, but they'd also sell them as kits, and I'm not sure, maybe it was bought as a kit. It did not have any indication of carbon on the headstock, and normally they would. Uh, if they were finished by carbon, but there was no finish on it, and someone had put humbuckers on the guitar side instead of the original carbon pickups. And so I put a finish on it, made it kind of a amber to make it look like it was period correct. The two pickups, which are very hard to find, even though they were sold individually in the 50s, the pickups Rick located on this other guitar uh, off of another website, he calls it the Merlin because it's it's got this little sticker on the headstock. And it, the only reason he bought it was because it had the two pickups still in original condition on it for that guitar. So, And then I went ahead and I did this one so that, you know, just to make something funky somebody could use. Right, right. And uh, so he's using, he's got that one for sale. But, but you know, it's, it's unusual. Usually when you see a double necker, you see a six and 12, right? Exactly. Or six and 12 a, or a six, six and, and a base. base. Right. Exactly. So, why the why the mandolin six? Well, at, at this time, I mean, and if you look in the catalog, one of the one of the uh, people that they have in here, Joe Mathis. Yeah. And Joe Mathis, he, he used to play double necks, but his double neck would be a regular six string and then a short scale six string. And sometimes he would also play short scale mandolin on the uh, on the upper. Wow. So they were doing it for him, and it became popular at that time. Nowadays, I. You don't find too many pickers who are really interested in playing guitar and mandolin. And you can't turn one off and the other on. This selector switch switches from this pickup to this pickup or both. Both instruments are on at the same time. So you actually get kind of a strange overtone. When you're playing the guitar, the mandolin is ringing sympathetically with the guitar. Unbelievable. And because the pickup is on, you're hearing it. So it gives it this really full kind of tone. It's pretty cool.